thing. Okay, we are live again. Sean and I are back. Um, so uh, we were talking about about sort of your process uh, with mm -hmm. comics and how you you do character sketches and the like, but but you're not big into thumbnail sketches, no. and you don't have a light box anyway, so you can't do that cheat yeah. scene where you trace your own work. <laughs> Um, so, uh, in the in your comic book work, I assume you always start with pencils, and do you usually do your own inks? Um, yes, as much as possible, I try to do my own inks. Um, I don't mind having other people do my inks because, for one, it's a little headache off of me, um, uh -huh. so I don't have to do double work. Um, but sometimes people, you know, they don't gel as well as we would like. Right. Sometimes I get an, an inker who makes my work look you know, ten times better than it actually is. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've had, no, I have had the opportunity to work with some really great people. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, the, sometimes the, the work, their styles just don't mesh. So it it doesn't look bad, but it looks completely different from how we intended to look. Um, right. But usually due to time, because um, I generally tend to work a little bit quicker, um, I don't always, but you know, I generally do work pretty quickly. Um, I end up doing my own inks in terms of making a deadline. Right. So, so um, when you when you know you're doing your own inks, do you pencil differently than if you think someone else will be doing the inking? Not consciously. I know people try to ask. <clears throat> well, they usually ask, you know, what process do you go through? What what's your motivation? I just draw. Uh -huh. uh, that's that's the only thing. I, I just draw. I didn't really <laughs> think about it. Um, in hindsight, I would you know go over the analysis and whatnot. But I right. just because I, I had imagined that if you knew you were doing your own inks, you might leave stuff out so you have more interesting things to do when you're inking. Yeah, that's or... lazy. <laughs> that's just lazy. Oh, <laughs> because I'd rather do work then you're tracing I'm... right if you do yeah, too much. <laughs> but I would rather do work that I'd be proud of. Than, a, than more than anything else, uh -huh. um, but usually in my case, I can do, uh, I can draw a page or a cover or anything, and I may think it's the best work I've ever done. The very next day, I'll think it looks like crap. <laughs> so at the time, I try to do the best work I possibly can. Have you ever looked back at some older work and said, "Wow, I don't even know how I did something so good." Or yeah, always actually, the crap. yeah, which, which surprises me. I had to, to wonder, you know, what brand of coffee was I drinking? <laughs> and how about when you do a painting, like the ones in the background? Do those start as pencil sketches, or do you just start yes. painting? No, they do start as pencil sketches, because um, sometimes I'm not sure how the paint will react, because these were acrylic um, paintings I did as experiments. Yeah, these are really practice pieces. Right. Even though I'm, I'm pretty proud of the Buffy. I don't know. I just, just, I and like the Buffy. The Buffy looks very good from here. Um, Thank you. And the, the Batman's. I've seen that Batman before. Yeah, because um, I posted it on Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I didn't realize how big it was. So it's nice yeah, it's, seeing it. It's you know, with 22 your... by 28. So um, the pictures are actually life size. And you've done some very nice painted covers that I've seen. Or maybe I saw the, I saw a rejected painted cover. I think ah. I've also seen some of the actual painted covers, the yeah, ones well, that got I, used. I don't know how the camera would pick it up, but I ha do happen to have you know some, some of my comics there. Uh -huh. um, this was the first comic I ever worked on, and it had four artists on it. Um, you know, it was more of an experiment because we wanted to push young art, young artists, see what they can do. Right. Um, this was my first, you know. This is my, my first crack at doing professional work, really. And out of the four artists, um, I got picked to do the cover. So, go figure. Nice. And uh, uh, what medium was that cover done in? Gouache paints. Gouache. Gouache watercolor, yeah. Is that kind of like a cross? Is that like a cross between regular watercolor and acrylics or something in terms of the? Um, it's it really is a watercolor, but it, uh -huh. the, the texture of the paint itself is a bit creamier. Um, but you can mix it however you want. You can water it down so it's transparent, or you can it, you can build it up, and the vibrant colors are as rich as you would get even in oils. 
but it's not waterproof. It, you know, if it gets wet, uh -huh. it'll be bad. <laughs> um, so when you, like, you did these, uh, not quite caricatures, but little portraits of, of me and Da Costa DC. Yeah. Were those drawn by hand and then colored? No, they, I, I did those digitally. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I, I do happen to work with um, uh, one of those tablets. A so, wig tablet? Yeah. Uh, you know, those pressions. It's, uh, it's, I use a, a Wacom Intuos um, with, with the stylus, and, you know, I, I drew directly there. Sometimes I would do pencil work, scan it in, then clean up the line work digitally. You know, that's only for work that's posted online. If it's for print, you know, I can't do that because usually the editor wants to see the actual page in their hands. Right. So it has to be totally penciled. Um, but those I did completely digitally. I basically took screenshots of, you know, your videos or just paused them and looked back and forth. And I just, you know, drew it. I tried to capture the essence. Um... And 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 you also then well you 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 haven't done a lot of coloring right but you the stuff I the sketches you've colored yourself yeah definitely and well so any of the digitally. private work I've done I've done all the artwork myself including the colors oh the color okay when it's published work um we do have fortunate, fortunately we do have a, a colorist to handle that uh -huh. I've worked with a few different colorists but the one I've been working with the you know past few years, you know, we really, we work really well together. Uh -huh. Do you have, do you talk anything over with the colorist or just send them the art and see what they do? Oh no, we, everybody's involved in everything else. Um, we go over everything with the writer, the editor, the letterer, the colorist. Fortunately, the color, the colorist and letterist are the same person. Uh -huh. And the lettering is, is at the digital stage after you've done the inks? Yeah. And have you ever worked um, in the um, the old Marvel style, where there's just a plot and not not a full script? Ah, oh, man, I, I tried to do uh -huh. some private for this. I mean, I out of the the books that I've had published, I mean, I mean by international standards, I haven't really done Jack. But, <laughs> well, um, we realize you're you're at the beginning of things. Yeah, so. but um, but locally, I probably had more published work than anyone else here. Right, but. The published work, I, that's not even half of what I've actually done. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked on quite a few projects, you know, locally and, you know, internationally that have never seen prints that must for be one reason or another. Either the project have been, has been scrapped or funding didn't come through or simply they, they decided not to do it anymore. Um, so it, it's, it's, it's a lot different. Um, and yeah, I, we've gone through different processes. Sometimes everything will be entirely digital, where I didn't even have to do anything on, pa on pencil and paper. Mm -hmm. And sometimes everything has to be, you know, done by hand, including the lettering, which I tried my hand at. Uh huh. And that was, oh, that was a headache. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would think often the sort of artistic side doesn't go well with lettering because lettering is so almost mechanical. Yeah, but it's an art form in itself. Right, the, it's a calligraphy kind of art yeah. form, which is highly controlled, I guess, is, rather than mechanical is the word I wanted. Oh, the one person I can say that does everything really well there is Adam Warren. I'm not sure I know. Yeah, Adam Warren, he, um, oh great, I can't remember the name of the title he does with Dark Horse, um, but his work is amazing. He does everything himself really, really well. So he I'm letters, sure, I'm sure, he you know, somebody, If anybody's watching right now, they'd probably know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, we have um, four viewers, so we. Uh, yeah, somebody must know what Adam Warren does. Um, oh, what was I going to say? So earlier, I asked you, you know, who the early artists were that you noticed, mm -hmm. and I think uh, that included, you know, Gil Kane and John Byrne and John Buscema, and. Um, and Carmine Infantino. Yeah, Carmine Infantino. You know, and over. Kurt Swan. Who do you think of now as the influences on your art, or if you can think about it that way at all? Oh, man. Now, 
there may be a big difference between my um my favorite artists and my biggest influences. Uh, right. I, I um, because my favorite artists of I I know people usually say my favorite artists of all time, and then my second favorite, my third favorite. Right. I don't think I can define a list that way. Mm -hmm. But you can say people who are among your favorites because sometimes your list right. will change the same way that your favorite band may change at some time, your favorite food may change. Um, for me, I would definitely say Bruce Tim is easily one of my favorite artists of all time. Mm -hmm. um, I love his work, but I don't draw anything like him. It, well, but, Bruce Tim did a lot of the art for those Batman animated shows, right? Yeah, he designed everything for so the Batman. So you, you play around with his Harley Quinn sometimes, I've seen in yes. your sketches. Yes, Is yes. that because that's popular at the cons? At the cons? Yeah, people, especially with Poison Ivy. They love the Poison Ivy Poison Harley Quinn season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I've seen a lot of those sketches on Twitter. Yeah. But um, Bruce, I love Bruce Tim's work more than anything. Mm -hmm. um, he has greatest sense of design ever. It's flawless and deceptively yeah. complicated. It seems simple, but if you've right. ever tried to do it, um, try to imitate it just right uh -huh. off the bat, it's, it's really difficult. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. I love, I love those animated. I mean, those are the best animated superhero cartoons ever. Hands down. Hands down. Um, there may be some that, you know, not everybody would be of that opinion, but I, I hold to that. I, I think Batman the Anime Series may be the best example of television animation ever. In both terms of storytelling, design, and, and just artistic sensibilities. Mm -hmm. Now, for artists that I think, or I'd like to think, have influenced my work, yes. because I don't, I don't consider myself anywhere near their level, and I may never get to be at their level. Right, I understand. Influence is a tricky thing. You will yeah. end up with your own style, but you still may have started... Mm -hmm. by looking at what other people do? Um, well, definitely Alex Ross. Uh-huh. Um, no two ways about it. His work is gorgeous, you know. Um, but he, I think he pretty much brought you know, comic art to a different level when he burst upon the scene. Because even though there have been very talented artists who were classically trained in the medium before, mm -hmm. um, when he came out, he came out with a band. He did comic art suddenly became fine art. And we saw what superheroes can be if they were real. Right. Yeah, Marvels was the first thing I saw by him. Did he yeah. do anything before well, that? Before that, he did Terminator. He did Terminator? Oh, I didn't know that. Um, he, he wasn't, you know, the biggest name back then. Right. But Mar he exploded once he did Marvels. Marvels. I mean, everyone wanted yeah. to read more Alex Ross. Which, which, you know, fortunately was a well-written book as well. Yeah. Yeah. It, but it was it was a thing of beauty. But then his work got a bit more refined with Kingdom Come. Yes. Which, to this day, sometimes you can look at a, a book and it would seem a bit dated. Mm -hmm. You cannot look at Kingdom Come and think that uh, this is just, just too old hack. <laughs> but Kingdom Come, what's scary to me is that he, when Kingdom Come came out, he was 26. Oh, really? That is a frightening thing to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, his life has been downhill since, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm being cruel. I, yeah. I thought uh, that the first issue of Masks, I don't know if you've seen that, that he painted, yeah. was brilliant, actually. Yes, uh, he hasn't lost his touch at all. You just yeah. don't see him doing comic books that often, just cover. Yeah, he doesn't really do the internal work. But what's even scarier about him, besides the quality of his work, is the fact that he doesn't take long to do anything. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Paints. I mean, you can do your your deadline is usually a page a day to do pencils, mm -hmm. and then page a day to do inks. Within those two days, he can pencil and paint a page. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Well, it happened when he was doing Justice. I remember the uh -huh. Wizard magazine article about it. So that's because really he's doing he's doing everything because it's colors and everything, and plus it's painting, yeah. which is Paint as well because he lays the black and white first before he lays on the colors. And I know that you have done a, a painted comic book, which was not so far published. Um, and I think I've lost you again. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, guys, I've been having a really good time talking with Sean, um, and I'm going to try to get him back. Um, but uh, we've done an hour's worth of video so far. Um, so 
uh, we'll see whether we can we can do some more. Um, but if not, if this is the end, thanks thanks a lot for watching, and um, I I will I will be bugging Sean if if this is the end, I'll be bugging Sean to do it another another night, uh, maybe in a few weeks or something, talk some more, because I I love talking to an artist about about comics. Talk to you later.